Good evening, and welcome to the war, the information war. I'm D-Lake for Prez, reporting for the MediaSpeaks.com. Please check out the website at www.themediaspeaks.com. Check out the work of Kyle Phillips, Sam Ganji, D-Lake for Prez, David Lake, and Anthony Court. It's awesome and amazing. That's right. Um, <clears throat> do you like for Prez this week on Tuesday? Uh, I started my show talking about how I'm fed up talking about uh, Obama's lackluster presidency, all the BS he's trying to pull. Uh, you know, he, he wants to work with Congress, but he can't work with Congress. He's going to go around Congress, and he says like a quadruple negative phrase in one of his speeches that makes no sense whatsoever. He doesn't want to be a dictator, but if he has to be, he guesses he will be. Okay? But we're not going to talk about that today. On Tuesday, I did a super special report all about um, portable laser beam weapons. That's right. Uh, I was trying to find that real quick. But uh, go check it out for yourself on YouTube. Just go to the Media Speaks D O T C O M spelled out and look up that report. You'll see a picture of Han Solo's um, laser pistol. And I got some cool comments. It's like, D Lake, we love Han Solo and laser beams and laser pistols. And uh, that's awesome that you talk about that kind of stuff. So, uh, oddly enough, today on, uh, on uh, one of my news media outlet sources, there was uh, another big article. Actually, I think it's by the same guy, and I need to give Mark Prigg of DailyMail.co.uk some props. This article, tonight's uh, topic and subject for the technology report, is new super-powered laser, the real-life Death Star from Star Wars. That's right, from the Star Wars movie, I said it. Hell yes. The real-life Death Star, U.S. researchers developing laser 100,000 times more powerful than all of Earth's power stations combined. That's awesome. We'll emit a short laser burst with an intensity of 1,023 watts per square centimeter. Okay, there, there's a lot of numbers in, in uh, this report tonight, so I'll try to keep you in tune with, with what they all mean. 100,000 times more powerful than all the power stations in the world combined, laser bursts will last only one 100,000th of a billionth of a second. Whoa. Laser being built by Lawrence Livermore Lab in the United States. It will be the most powerful laser ever created and could give researchers incredible new insights into how the cosmos was created. Called the High Repetition Rate Advanced Petawatt Laser System, or HALPLUS. 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 Look, let's just call it the frickin' Death Star. You know what I'm saying? No! Boom! Hell yeah. The project has been nicknamed the Death Star after the Star Wars craft that could blow up planets. Was it a craft? I guess you could call it that. Haplus is designed to ultimately generate a peak power greater than one petawatt or one quadrillion watts. Each pulse will deliver 30 joules of energy in less than 30 femtoseconds, trillionths of a second, or 0 0.0000000000000000, I think one more, zero, three seconds. The time it takes light to travel a fraction of the width of a human hair. The laser system will deliver these pulses of lights at 10 hertz, 10 repetitions per second. I thank you, the Extreme Light Infrastructure, ELI, Beamlines project, project is an EU 
European Union funded lab being developed with experts from around the world, including Lawrence Livermore Lab in the U.S. and being built in the Czech Republic, of all places, due to be switched on by 2017. So, in about three years. ELI will become the first international laser research facility, much like a CERN for laser research. Hosting some of the world's most powerful lasers, enabling a new era of unique research opportunities. Whew. Are you guys getting as excited as I am about this? It's only like three years away! A Death Star laser? Let's see if Google will let me screen share again. Come on, Google. Please let me do it. Okay. Where's the page that I want to go to? I really want to show this to you guys. Hold on. Here we go. The real-life Death Star U.S. researchers developing laser 100,000 times more powerful than all of Earth's power stations combined. Look at this wicked awesome picture of uh, the Death Star there. Do you like how powerful is it? Ha Plus is designed to ultimately generate a peak power greater than one petawatt or one qu quadrillion watts. Each pulse will deliver 30 joules of energy in less than 30 femtoseconds. I basically said all that already. This system combines technologies from across Europe and around the world. It relies on a scheme referred to as double chirped pulse amplification, enabling high signal to noise in the output pulses, which will seed HA+. The Death Star laser, the solid state short pulse laser, converts the energy from the pump to a 30 joule, 30 femtosecond pulses for a peak power exceeding 1 petawatt. The laser system measures just 4.6 meters wide and 17 meters long. And here's a picture of it. That's roughly uh, like 15 feet by, say, 55 feet here. Okay? Pump laser, short pulse laser, PETA power amplifier to pulse compressor. So, so roughly 15 by 55 feet. Not, not too big at all. In fact, you can see some human beings here for a size comparison. It looks like a pretty normal size, like assembly line type thing. Oh, here's a cool actual picture of it. That's pretty fresh. Ooh, cool. Let's take a look at this. An early prototype of the system. Inside the Death Star, after amplification, in the short pulse laser, the chirp pulse is passed through an arrangement of diffraction gratings to produce half plus final high energy, high power laser pulse. Beam diagnostics output. It's pretty wicked, right? Now, it's, okay, there's the Death Star. Now all we really have to do is get it down to the size to put it onto things like guns and uh, military aircraft like what we covered on Tuesday. Helpless will consist of two interconnected Livermore design laser systems that, when set up at ELI beam lines, will require a combined space of about 4.6 by 17 meters, plus four square meters for the final laser pulse compressor. The first system, a diode, diode, diode pumped solid state laser, will energize or pump the second system, a chirp pulse amplification short pulse laser. Okay, so yeah, so there's the pump laser, goes to the short pulse laser, to the pulse compressor. I mean, pfft. I'm really into this. I mean, I just find it awesome, cool, fascinating, and uh, just something to behold. You know what I mean? I start putting on Star Wars music and all that other stuff. Um... So, go, I don't know, go check it out for yourself. Uh, do some more technology research. Like I was saying the other day uh, about technology reports is 
the thing about technology is this stuff's been in development for a long, 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 long time. Or years, probably. And it's only now that, you know, we're starting, it's starting to, like, release uh, in the media to the public. Just the knowledge of it. Then the military will get it in a few years from now. And then, like, 50 years down the line, we might, you know, have handheld Star Wars Han Solo laser pistols. Which we'll need for protection from uh, robot armies that already have all the Death Star lasers. So I mean, lasers are freaking cool. And, and do I really need an excuse to play the Imperial March from Star Wars, huh? Bring it, Darth freaking Vader, bitches. Yeah, Obi-Wan Kenobi! Laser gun! Okay, that, that's a great point. That's a great place to end it there. As cool as all your lasers are and laser beam guns are, they're no match for the Force. Everybody have a great night. Too late for prayers. MediaSpeaks.com.